what's happening. About to hit y'all with a surprise unboxing. Um, yesterday was my birthday. This is a surprise um, pack that came in. Shout out to Aaron Dunlap. Um, I'm going to leave the links and stuff for his page. Go follow his his uh, page, his YouTube, and etc. He got a up and coming YouTube channel, growing fast as hell. If you want to see details on kicks, the uh, the history of the kicks, the all the aspects, the bells and whistles and stuff, follow homeboy. His his catalog is crazy. He be reviewing all kind of stuff, but um. Be sure to check him out. He did a video on these. So you might want to look at that also. So I already know what this is. I already know. I kind of know how the, the feel of this shoe is going to be. This box is real light. Adidas. That's one thing I give them. Like in the, the new shoes and stuff. In the basketball aspect. Even the, the running aspect. These shoes are real light. Like they, they have been making a real light shoe, and they uh, I want to say they are leading the game in comfort, especially with the boost technology and stuff. I think Nike is starting to kind of catch up with them a little bit, like with the Vapor Maxes and, and stuff. So Nike is is starting to uh, kind of focus on the comfort in the 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 lightness. Uh, because one of the first ones I think that started their revolution was the D-Roses. When D-Rose shoe first came out, back in the days, this shoe was light as hell. Maybe that's why his knees messed up. But uh, right here, this the Crazy Boost 2.5 Low. And this was a, a James Harden PE. Uh, I, I won't front. I, I wasn't really on this shoe. Not saying I didn't like it or something, but I... Never, I never really checked it. I, I, the only only Adidas basketball shoes I really had. I, I have a, a few pair of D Roses. In the ironically, that's my favorite basketball shoes. Is my old D Roses and stuff. That's what I hoop in most of the time. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a very good ride. That I, I kind of stole uh, Aaron Dunlap words because he said might be a smooth ride. So I'm sure this is a pretty smooth ride, you know. But we're gonna get into this. Is James Harden the PEs and shit that's smooth right there? It, it kind of it, it got the same the same fly knit as the Jordan Thirty One braids. The the first Jordan Thirty Ones that they dropped, I got those in the crib. It's the same pattern, and it even even has a. Uh, that's what it reminds me of, because it even has like how the, on the thirty ones, how it has like, you know how it, how it goes from the Nike to the Jordan sign, and from from the fly knit to the leather, like it kind of has that transition. Except for instead of going to leather, it's like going from red to a darker, darker color, going from the red to the black. So what I what I see with the shoe, see they got the, they got their fly knit, they got their fly knit uh upper. Shit, that's basically they got a big fly in the upper. This right here looks look like a nylon mesh towards the front. So, so a little little difference. They got I see stable frame, stable frame technology. I guess I don't know, but uh, got their boost. So you know they gonna you know they gonna be comfortable as hell. If when when they got the boost, they got the boost. To me, I would, I would say I would say that's the leader of the industry right now. Boost technology. That is what what gave Adidas their up their upper on the uh not upper like shoe upper, but up on the competition. Like Adidas has passed Jordan brand up, but Adidas does have they have been in, I would say they've been in business longer. I think, and they have like a, a been having a plethora. Like Jordan, it was just Jordans, and then then they start going into other stuff. Like Adidas been into other things, and they have more athletes and stuff like that. So I don't want to get that misconstrued. But anyway, that's that's not about that. Well, I'm about to name some Jordan stuff again. This, this is something that I noticed on these shoes, and especially after watching Aaron video on these. 
the bottom. They have two things. Me on Big Jordan, 32 fan. So some some things I noticed, like just looking, I think they use use some of this technology as inspiration. Because this bottom, and these came out before the 32. That's a 32 bottom right there. Because the Jordan 32, it has the like the, the translucent bottom and everything, but it got a shank plate right here. Shank plate right here. And this right here, basically the same thing. I don't think this is like a, a carbon fiber. Mm. Shit. I'm sorry. That must have been the, the sneaker guy's way of saying, shut the hell up. I was ranting a little too long. Camera died. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick on foot and yeah, I'm gonna do a quick on foot. I'll explain when I do the on foot. Alright, so getting into it. No eBay, I don't wanna buy nothing. But getting into it, showing you what they're looking like on the feet. And first impressions, first impressions, they real comfortable. And the fly knit, it's a real thick fly knit. So it look, look like they're going to be able to take a pounding. Durability is going to last. The boost, the boost feeling good. So I'm going to try and do this more on my uh, my off feet. Uh, instead of playing all kind of music and stuff, I'm going to just tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all firsthand how the shoe's feeling and stuff. True to size, yes, I would say, I would say, uh, just get your size. It seems like if, if you got a narrow foot or if, if you have a thick foot, you'll be able to fit them. They have, they have room for whatever. And I'm using like a, a low shoe hooper, but these right here, they, they feel feel like like you're pretty stable and then hey, if they good enough for James Harden and his ankles ain't blew up on him yet you don't never see him having ankle problems so I'm pretty sure it's just a mental hang up I'm re I'm gonna bring these to the court I'm really gonna be hooping in these and I'm gonna give them the wear test they've been out for a while so I'm pretty sure you can find them for, for a good deal so hey, if you want your nice hooping shoe, go go check them out. And uh shit, fuck with your boy, like, comment, subscribe, gonna be the greatest and the most hated. Go check Aaron Dunlap page out. Me and my kicks. Me and my kicks. Maybe I should just, should just say me and my kicks instead of putting the brother government name out there. But uh shout out to you, man. That's the only thing I got for my birthday. I wouldn't eat and stuff like that, but like the material things, that's the only material thing my brother got. And like that's not family, he don't really know me. He he knows me, but we ain't never shook hands or nothing. We just, but that's just the, the, the miracle or the beauty of, of the internet stuff. You meet a lot of interesting people and stuff like that. So, hey, if you need anything, I'll let you boy. I'm out.